Hey guys, Natty here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm cooking up a storm. Today I'm making cabbage rolls. Now I've had now I have had videos in the past that uh, had cabbage rolls in it, but it was Lazy Man's cabbage roll. It was crock pot me. Uh, it was crock pot Lazy Man's cabbage rolls. So now I'm making, I guess, traditional, you know. Uh, cabbage rolls with the filling and then you wrap it up in the cabbage. That's what I'm doing today. So I'm going to do a little bit of a healthier alternative. I'm going to be using brown rice. I'm going to be using uh, ground beef that's lean. I'm going to be making a sauce from scratch. Well, not really scratch. A couple cans, but you know, I'm going to add the spices and make it extra special. So stay tuned for that. Today, it's cabbage roll day. Okay, so this one's not lean. It's a medium ground beef. And this comes from the Frugal's discount store. Now, Frugal's gets food from different varieties of um, grocery stores. So this comes from Sobeys. It's a 0 0.454 kilogram package of ground beef. So we're going to use that one today. And I'm going to use this lean ground beef from the butchers so this is the butcher close to my home creative meats and this one is 0 0.40 kilograms where is it yeah 0 0.40 kilograms a little pricey eh but it's the best meat oh i love their meat so i'm going to cook that up in the frying pan and we're going to pre-cook it so we could just wrap it in the cabbage rolls and yeah go from there so i'm just using these two packages because well that's pretty much all i have and right now ground beef is quite expensive so this came from my freezer so we're going to use up what we have and uh do what we can do and see how many cabbage rolls we get from this I'm thinking at least six, if not more. We'll see. Now I'm going to use some Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning. Get that open. Get some good flavor. And woo! Oh yeah. Fall on the floor. Even though we're going to be using onions, I'm still going to put some onion powder. So a little bit of onion powder. Onion powder! And some black pepper. Magic pepper. Magic pepper. And we're just going to mix that up. Mix it up. Get her going. So Jay's helping me with this today. So he cut me up a yellow onion, whole entire onion. And we're going to put some garlic in there as well. So I got some chopped garlic. Okay, seriously, I'm keep, I keep dropping things today. It's pissing me off. It's making me angry. Oh, look at this. Maybe a teaspoon left of this. So might as well use it up. So one teaspoon of the garlic. Look at that cute little jar, too. I keep a cute little jar for something. That's awesome. I don't know for what. Maybe for some of my tinctures or something. There we go. I'll have to pick up some garlic. Because if I buy garlic cloves, they never get used. Okay. Let's get a magic spoon out. Magic spoon. Magic spoon. So we're going to use my traditional magic spoon, the original. This is the original. Okay. 
Mmm, it's starting to smell really delicious. It's starting to smell super yummy. Super yummy in my tummy, super yummy. Super yummy in my tummy, super yummy. Alright. So I'm gonna keep a hole in the middle, just a little bit. Just get rid of some of that liquid there, some of that grease. Now, it says you're supposed to use long grain rice for this kind of stuff. But you know what? I'm using brown rice, and it's instant brown rice. So I'm using half a cup of instant brown rice. Like, this is almost ready now. You see, there's just a little bit of red. So this is the time to put it in. So you still have a little bit of liquid. So it cooks, not completely, but partially. Because it's going to cook in the oven. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to add another half cup of that. So a cup and a half of the brown rice. Because I need a filler. Just like that. Oh, my mind's going crazy. I could add so many things to this right now. You know, to make it different. But I'll just leave it as is, I think. So I give it another minute or so, because it's going to cook some more in the oven. So I'll give it another minute, then I'm going to take it off, and we're going to make the sauce. So, the cabbage. I put it in a bag and put it in the freezer when I bought it. It was in the freezer for two days, and then yesterday I took it out and let it thaw. I'll take the first layer off and throw it out. There we go. On the garbage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the end off. This end here. Just like that. Oh, there. See what happens is when you put it in the freezer it softens it up. So it's a lot easier to work with. You could boil it if you want in a big pot and it does the same thing. It just makes it easier come off. Look at that. Nice and tender. There we go. So this part here, I want to cut it off because I seen that on another video. There we go. So what I'm going to do is rinse it. Make sure it's nice and clean. clean let it clean. And then let it Dry off in the strainer and keep doing that as you go. So I'm going to do about six for now. If I need more, then that's great. I'll take it off. If not, well, I'll have more for something else. Uh, come on, get out of there, freaking bugger. Look how easy it comes off, eh? And now I'm going to make the sauce. So I'm going to add, let's see here, one, so that's a half a cup. So we're going to add a total of maybe two cups for now and see how that works out. A total of two cups of spring water or distilled water, sorry. And we're going to use the Campbell's tomato soup because I see a lot of people use that in their cabbage rolls. They say it's a lot better of a flavor. So we're going to see. Then we're going to take this garlic tomato paste, low salt, no salt added. And I think we're going to use about half of the can for now see how it turns out. I'm going to mix that up. Okay, I think I'm going to use the full can of tomato paste. I want it slightly thicker and a little bit more 
flavor to it. So one can of tomato paste. Now let's use the spices. So I'm going to put some celery seed. I'm going by eye, guys, so depending on your taste, you use your best judgment. I'm going to use some basil. Actually, you know what? I have fresh basil, guys. So I'm going to take four leaves of basil. Four fresh leaves of basil, and I'm going to cut it in there with my handy-dandy kitchen scissors. It's uh, handy-dandy. So having these scissors in the kitchen for kitchen items makes my life a lot simpler. Look at that. All right. Then we're going to put some onion powder. I'm going to put a lot because I love onion. I'm going to put some pepper. Lots of pepper. Garlic powder. Lots of garlic powder. And one more thing, guys. Jay likes this. Just a touch of cayenne pepper. Just to say there's some there. Just to say. You know what? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Chipotle Southwest seasoning. I'm gonna put some of that in there. Something different, right? So about half a teaspoon of the Chipotle Southwest seasoning. Oh yeah, Urgh, that's gonna be delicious. Now where's my spoon? Let's put some good vibes into this. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be great. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fabulous. Right. It's going to be absolutely amazing today. Look at that. All right. Missing something. A little bit more of that Southwest. So maybe a full teaspoon. So a full teaspoon in total. Rinse my spoon. Rinse my spoon. Rinse that spoon. And try it again. That is good. Woo! That is good. And now, and now it's time to make the cabbage rolls. Put some in the bottom. One, one piece of lettuce. Ah, ah, ah. So we're going to cut this off again. Come on. Just skim it off. Just like that. That's actually good. You can still use it. Use it for a soup or something. Okay, so now we're gonna go get the cabbage roll stuff. The cabbage roll filling. And I'll get my little blue spoon. Not even sure how much you're supposed to put in there. So I only did this maybe once or twice in my life this way. And let me tell you, it's been over 20 years. For sure. For sure. Okay, so I think you fold it that way. No. Okay, so fold it in like that. 
fold it in like that, like that. There we go. Then you put it down like this. That one cabbage roll. That one's not really tight. The first one's always a fluke, right? It's always a fuck up. But you get better as you go, I guess. No, you do. You do get better as you go. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Let's get some more. Like that. Like that. Like that. Oh, yeah. Then you fold it in, I guess, like that. And you just roll it as tight as you can. Uh-huh. You got it, Natters. You got it, Natter. Yeah. You got it, Natty. There we go. So I'm going to do the rest. Hopefully there's more than six. I think there is. And we're going to have some cabbage rolls. So Jay's going to try making cabbage rolls because he's never made cabbage rolls himself. <laughs> so here you go, babe. You put some of this in there, the stuffing in there. Get it on my floor. Ooh. Balance. I got it, man. Balance. I'm falling over. You're such a fucking messy man. More? Uh, one more, I'd say. Yeah. Now, okay, we're gonna put this aside. So wrap the sides, one, two, then roll it towards you. No, wrap the sides first. Wrap it tightly. Good, good job. And then, no, the other way. Top of the leaf, then roll it tightly. And then you put it, no, 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 all the way. Keep rolling, keep rolling, you got it. That's it, then put it in there. Face down like that. It's a baby one. There you go, babe. I did it. You did it. You did a cabbage roll. Do you want to try another one? Dang, I'm a chef. Let me, let me try one more. One more. Okay. Good. You can do the rest. How about that? No, no, no. Just one more. Okay. So the thing about this, Jay, mm -hmm. is this here. Mm -hmm. I cut it for you in the last one, but usually there's a vein here. Like, see that part there? Just make sure that you cut that off. I don't know. It's just that what everybody else does. So usually it's a big bump uh -huh. and it's harder to, I guess, roll. That's what I think. All right. Here, you grab it in your hand yourself. I won't hold it. This way you won't <laughs> spill it. I'm scared. Look at Jay go. I'm a freaking pro, right guys? That's right. You can do anything. You wanted cabbage rolls? Now you'll know how to make them yourself. Uh, I've already forgotten. I think that's enough, eh? Yeah. Okay, I'll take this away from you. Oh, you're you're really getting good at it, Jay. A little bit tighter. A little bit tighter. Go back. Then I'll make it a little bit tighter, honey. There we go. Perfect. Look at you, Mr. Pro. With a cabbage jam envelope. Look at you. Look, he did it. Getting smaller though. He did it. Put it this way. There we go. Yeah, that gives us too tight. All right. I'll keep making some, and you can make some if you want. No, no, you're doing great. Or are you gonna go play your game? Yep. Well, he's gonna go play his game, and I'll keep cooking. Yes. So we're gonna add this little pieces of cabbages that I cut off from the cabbage. I'm gonna put that in the freezer and add it to Bella's next dish that I prepare this week. So I try not to waste anything at all. That was still good, I could still use it. And well, Bella will enjoy it with her meal. And now we're going to do the saucing of uh, the beautiful cabbage rolls. So I got more than six. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven! Eleven! 
Woohoo! So let's do that. Let's just put some sauce on top of that. So you're gonna want to cover it. Up. So you're gonna want to cover it up completely. Just cover them all up. And I think we'll just have enough sauce for this, guys. Definitely. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this up nicely, nicely. Make it all nice and saucy. Saucy, cabbage rolls. Saucy, cabbage rolls. Okay, this is taking too long. Let's do it this way. Let's pour it on. I'll be here forever. Shit. I'm just going to make sure these spots here in the corner are covered. Jay wanted this not with tomato juice. He wanted it a little thicker. So I made it slightly thicker. He wanted like a tomato sauce. Like one of those thick, th chunky tomato sauces. But I thought, well, I'll make my own because I don't want to use up that can of sauce that I have because it's for a special lasagna this well I can make my own so uh, that's going in the oven I'm putting it at 380 and I'm gonna go for an hour I'm gonna take a peek at it because I know it's about an hour and a half to two hours depending on the cabbage and how well it cooks so we're gonna go for an hour at first with foil on and we're gonna take a peek so 380 Foil on, one hour, take a peek. So one hour and 20 minutes. So I'm gonna put it in for 10 minutes without the foil and then it will be ready. The time has come for me to take out those cabbage rolls. Oh yeah, cabbage rolls, cabbage rolls. Oh yeah, cabbage rolls. Look at that. Woo! Doesn't that look delicious? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Wonderful cabbage rolls. Wonderful cabbage rolls. Tender cabbage with some meat and rice. Look at that. Look how tender it is. Nice and ready. So a total of one hour and a half. So 90 minutes for these wonderful cabbage rolls at 380. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smallest one right now because we're going to taste test it. Once it's cooled off, it's really hot. I see the steam coming off this baby. Oh yeah. So a little bit more sauce on top. And there we go. It's all ready to go. Just got to wait for it to cool off now. So today's meal for me and Jay for tonight. Tomorrow's dinner for me and Jay. The sample for today. And two for the freezer. So that's going to be three delicious home-cooked meals for me and Jay. Okay, so I already cut it up. So it's really hot. I want to taste test it. I think next time I'm going to make it more like a meatloaf inside because, well, it's still good dismantled inside, but hmm, let's try this. Mmm. Oh my God. So good. I took it all apart here. That's okay. Mmm. 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 I gotta keep some for Jay, so I'll keep the other side for Jay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's got an amazing flavor. Mmm. I'd do this again for sure. Mm -mm -mm. I better get Jay. Jay, come taste test. 
Might have to cut it in half there or whatever, but uh, I had half of a day girl. Uh, Cash roll. Nelly. <clears throat> don't move the plate because you're under the camera. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Do you need a spoon? Let me enjoy this. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Do you like mm. it? That's the cow's roll you made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm. the one you made. So it's a J cow roll. Mm -hmm. I think I need to try one more try. Just make sure. hot in here now with the stove on. Yeah. Shit. I was wondering why is it so freaking hot in here? Because the stove's mm -hmm. on. <laughs> you like it? Um, yeah, it's adequate. Adequate. <laughs> Good. Mm. You're next time it's your turn to make the batch. Nah, no, I don't really like it. No, it's yours. It's all yours, honey. <laughs> is it? Oh, okay. You're taking it. Fuck off. Okay, go eat that over there. Fuck off. Fuck you. Bonjour, ma'am. Don't touch my stuff. Well, that's what I did today on this fine Monday morning. I thought it was Sunday today, actually. I don't know day for day nowadays, so. But anyways, that's what I did. I made the cabbage rolls. I'm going to go do laundry now and do some vacuuming. And that's pretty much my day. A nice, lazy day with some yummy meals for the next couple days. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be back soon with another video, so stay tuned for that. Bye for now.